All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the DR Ford Bronco. This is a production model, race ready Bronco. Obviously, it is a lot wider and bigger than a Bronco that you've ever seen. It's caged. Uh, but what's the most unique thing about it is underneath this hood, there's a production five liter Coyote V8 engine behind a production 10 speed automatic. That is what is gonna be available in this specific Bronco. This is gonna be a unit that you can purchase right off of the assembly line, legit ready to race. This particular one is gonna be raced in the Baja 1000 next year for 2022. Let's get a closer look of the goods underneath of it. We've got monster, monster billet aluminum lower control arms. We've got built-in bumps uh, integrated into the frame. We've got bypasses into the front suspension here. Uh, Multimatic suspension. Uh, trying to get a shot of the cage. This thing is fully caged all the way to the frame the suspension. You can see it's tied in on the, the uh, coil over buckets here. Again, this is going to be a race ready unit. So there's going to be a lot of Oh, look, it's trussed over the top of the motor, too. If you look up in there, from the top of the coilover bucket all the way across. Again, this is fully ready to race. Uh, you get a look of the 5-liter V8 underneath the hood there. Uh, beh behind that is the production 10-speed transmission coming through the bottom of the suspension. Aluminum skid plates from the front all the way to past the transmission. Looks like we've got billet drive line. Uh, this one has MBRP exhaust. Uh, we've got the brace there for the drive line in case that snaps. These monster trailing arms for the rear suspension. We've got limiting straps. Coilovers out in the rear. Again, Multimatic, again on the back with the bypasses. Uh, all the suspension is all tied into the cage. We've got the bumps in the back of the suspension as well. BFG KM3. Let's see what size are these things. Uh, he said 37, 12, 50, 17 beadlock wheels, all factory. Don't forget that point. You can see the cage where it ties into the frame here across the back. Uh, looks like the fuel tank is up top. Uh, that cross member right here. Come around the back. We got a full size 37 inch tire in the back of the Bronco as well. All of the cooling system has been relocated up top in the back. Uh, with functioning scoops on the side, the roof, and the other side to aid in the cooling to keep this thing nice and cool when it's ripping across the desert. Dual batteries sunk down into the floor, keeping that weight distribution, uh, I'm sure, as even as possible. Got the fins in the back too. Cage comes down out the rear. Production tail lights in the back. So again, obviously it's DOT and street legal. Uh, this is again probably where you're going to be filling up at. Coming inside, that shall be. And got the uh, production dash there. Race steering wheel. Does the steering wheel come off? Sure it does. It should, or it's able to. Yep. yep, it does. Sweet. Uh, anyway, the, the dash is fully race ready. Um, full caged all the way to the front too. That way the passengers are nice and safe. This big cow scooped hood. Functioning built-in light bar up top. This is absolutely nuts. Again, production DR Ford Bronco. Um, it is built off of a four-door chassis, so it's got the same frame as a four-door that has been obviously heavily modified. Uh, I say modified, you know, it's it is modified, but for uh, racing, this thing is crazy. Uh, there's probably a whole bunch more information on it. Oh yeah, there's no doors, so to get in and out, you crawl in, straight up Dukes of Hazard style. You pull the bow Duke, jump in, start your race. Hood pins up top. We've got coolers up here in the front. Again, the radiators are moved towards the back. These are just additional coolers, probably transmission, and I'm not really sure what that is. Uh, up front, race ready front bumper. This looks like it's aluminum, steel tow hooks. That's aluminum. So they've cut weight, looks like in as many places as possible. Production headlights, absolutely crazy. What an awesome machine. 2022, I think is when this thing will become available. Uh, look at that body, it is absolutely crazy. 